so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle, and they live in the snow. <laughs> Good job! A penguin! <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> We're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals. And that way, they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa! Speaking of animals, I see some right down here. <laughs> it is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> And if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. Welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals. But I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh my, conservation is so important. It's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Oh, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. Whoa, hello, Peanut. That is an amazing beaver. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm going to pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa. What does that feel like? It's so soft. <laughs> yeah. Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet. Good, because she's a water animal. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast. And she's very strong. And those teeth are used to gnaw on wood and <laughs> chew the bits. Whoa. <laughs> and now, let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut. <laughs> mm. I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long Ooh. as it's not a peanut, oh. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot <laughs> and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. She uses those hands. <laughs> Whoa. And her nose is so big. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa, her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Where's my, See where's my big? carrot? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> look at her. Got a really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. Swimming, huh, that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail 
helped her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> thanks, Peanut. Well, you got to get back to the water, so <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're going to see is going to be. <laughs> It's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. Hi. What kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow nate Amazon. He gets the name yellow nate because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird, he likes green and yellow. Is that funny? <laughs> Is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears. So he's not actually talking, but mm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> What else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best. Since he lives here at the zoo, do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger. Tiger than me. <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream. <laughs> He loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? Yeah, it's important to wing up and to warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing, and I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa. Do you want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancer. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're going to go with this. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Wow. It that is was a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Everybody out there, goodbye. I love you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Hmm. Really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm, but I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa, <laughs> an aardvark? Whoa, look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. Whoa, Zola has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like, too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup. There you go. Wow, and Zola has really big ears too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes, but you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa, did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, that means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty silly. Hey, look, it looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> yeah, she's always hungry for these termites, and we're going to see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big looks really strong. 
Whoa! Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello! <laughs> hey there, Zola! <laughs> Whoa! Looks like she's liking to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. <laughs> it kind of feels like mm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name Aardvark, because Aardvark means dirt pig. Oh, whoa. <laughs> dirt pig, Aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow, and her hands. Are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. Oh, you are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. <laughs> wow. Hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa. Hey, Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Come on over here. There you go. Whoa. Very Whoa. nice. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. All these hairs, are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the Aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> Just... mm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. She's our two-toed sloth. Can Hello, you, Zena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, Hi, they're Zena. called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. She wow. sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow, can did you feel hear her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers, too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat. Here's one of your favorites. So, uh, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa, it's like it's opposite day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey, sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use when an animal is awake at night? Yeah, that means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal <laughs> and really cute and soft. That's right, and slow. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Zena is so slow. She uh. is. <laughs> and showing us her, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. <laughs> wow, look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah. They look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh, <laughs> I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> Indeed, and she loves them all. Mm, well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly walking away from Zena. <laughs> yeah, 
sleeping, Zena. Thank you, Zena. It's getting a little sleepy. Thank you. She had a lot of snacks, too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah, we want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>much fun seeing all different kinds of animals with you. So many different kinds here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.